how was I supposed to know who they were? I mean, I'm only a lowly innkeeper after all. I can still see them out there on that donkey. I mean, if you ask me, if you really want to know the truth, it was my wife Sill's fault. <laughs> I mean, if it would have been left up to me, I would have let him have our bed. But Sill, she says, Harvey, not only is there not enough room, but there is nothing for them to eat. Unless you want to give them a matzo ball. Or unless you want to run to the store for an egg, a milk, and a bread. Sill, we'll have our young son Hansel run out to the store for an egg, a milk, and a bread. I am not going to have my young Hansel going out into the cold night air for an egg, a milk, and a bread. If I wouldn't sing Hansel, what are the chances I'd sing Gretel? Neither one of them could find their way home. I'm sorry, Syl. I'm just trying to be as kind as possible to this nice young couple. I mean, she looks quite pregnant. Well, I guess if they don't mind sleeping out with our animals, we can let them have the barn. So, I went out to the barn in this cave, and I cleaned it up as best I could, but let me tell you, there's only so much you can sweep a dirt floor. So I got back to bed, but I could not sleep. I was tossing and turning, turning and tossing, tossing and turning all night. In the middle of the night, the sky got so bright. I leapt out of my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, threw up the sash, and said, Phil, you gotta come see this star. Harvey, get back to bed. It's the middle of the night. No, 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 Sil, you gotta come. Look. Get back in bed. I'm gonna throw you then. You get no matter about food. <laughs> that is quite a store. Oh, and look at all those sheep and shepherds all over our backyard. Harvey, get down there and see what's going on. So I went out back and I pushed my way through all of the sheep and the shepherds and oh. <laughs> When I finally arrived at our cave, I look in and there, in my cow Jehoshaphat's manger, is a baby. Oh, I felt so guilty. Guilt like you've never seen before. So I got, uh, and, then, and then and this angel appears, standing, mm, floating really over the baby. And he said, peace to you. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, it's <laughs> our Bethlehem. The Messiah, which is Christ the Lord. When I realized who the baby was, I got right down on my knees. And when I did, I realized that everyone else had brought a gift. Oh, I felt so cheap. Hey, Sil, <laughs> come quick and bring the money back. I figured that with all the people staying in our inn that night, we could afford to buy the baby whatever he might need. But the mother said, all he wants is me. Okay, Harvey, I've got the money. We'll give him whatever they want as long as he'll just get off of our farm. Oh, a baby. So that night, my wife, Syl, and I gave our hearts to the baby Jesus. Right in there. And we have never had such peace or joy and since that night <laughs>